In the last lecture, we learned how we can encrypt data while sending it over network using SSL TLS transport encryption. However, you might also want to encrypt the data saved on the disk in MongoDB server. And this is called as encryption at rest. Encryption at rest ensures that the data stored on disk in MongoDB is encrypted, protecting it from unauthorized access if the storage medium is compromised. This prevents attackers from accessing sensitive data even if they gain access to the raw storage because here the data which is stored on the MongoDB server is encrypted. Encryption at rest in MongoDB is implemented using storage encryption. And MongoDB encrypt data at the file system or storage layer and decrypts it only when accessed by an authorized user. So in simple terms, encryption at rest means encrypting the stored data on the MongoDB server. So we know that we store data in the database of MongoDB server. There, we can encrypt the stored data so that if an unauthorized user try to access that data, since it is encrypted, the user will not be able to read it or manipulate it. Now, what are the key features of encryption at rest? First of all, encryption at rest is supported by MongoDB Enterprise Edition. It is not available for community edition. And there, encryption at rest is built in with MongoDB Enterprise Edition. So whenever you will save data in MongoDB Enterprise Edition, there the data will be first encrypted and then it will be stored. So it is a default behavior in MongoDB Enterprise Edition and it is not supported in MongoDB Community Edition. So that's why I cannot show you encryption at rest with a practical example. But let's try to understand it theoretically. Okay, so MongoDB uses industry standard encryption algorithm such as AES-256. So this is an encryption algorithm which is used by MongoDB for encrypting the stored data. MongoDB supports integration with key management systems to manage encryption keys securely. Now why encryption at rest is important? Because it protects sensitive information like personally identifiable information or financial data from unauthorized access. It also makes sure that your data meets security regulations. And it also prevents data leaks if backup files are stolen or compromised. Now what are the prerequisites for encryption at rest? As I mentioned, encryption at rest is available only in MongoDB Enterprise Edition. So if you want to encrypt your stored data on MongoDB server, you need to have MongoDB Enterprise Edition. Also, you need to use a KMS to manage encryption keys. Now, what data gets encrypted? So all the data files, including collections and indexes are encrypted. The journal files also get encrypted. And MongoDB op logs for replica sets also gets encrypted. Now, what does not get encrypted? Log files are not encrypted and configuration files like mongod.cfg that is also not encrypted. Also, encryption adds some performance overhead. So when you are using encryption at rest, it is going to encrypt the stored data and because of that, it will add some performance overhead. So in this case, you should benchmark your workload to understand its impact. Now, what is the difference between encryption at rest and SSL TLS encryption? First of all, encryption at rest is used to protect stored data from unauthorized access. On the other hand, TLS SSL encryption protects data during transmission over the network. Encryption at rest encrypts data files, indexes and journals. But SSL TLS encryption, it encrypts communication between the client and the server. For encryption at rest, we use Wired Tiger storage encryption with KMS support. And for SSL TLS encryption, we use SSL TLS encryption protocol. By enabling both encryption at rest and SSL TLS encryption, you create a comprehensive security framework for protecting sensitive data in MongoDB. So again, encryption at rest simply means encrypting the stored data on the MongoDB server. 
and here you can see the difference between encryption at rest and SSL TLS encryption. This is all I wanted to cover in this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.